All right, folks. Uh, goody, good evening, evening to all of you. Welcome to the last edition of uh, the Journalist Hangout, reaching you from Southwest Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Right. This evening, first of all, let me remind you, I'm Citizen Jones. Today on the program, Bielsa, APC, and PDP trade words over perpetration of violence ahead of November 16 governorship polls. IG ignores court orders, releases list of uh, so many recruits, customs intercepts 1,000 plus bags of foreign rice, eight cars in Niger and Kwara states, just as Barista Falano urges federal government to end border closure in national interest. And later on, police bust rehab center in Kwara state, rescue 108 persons. Let's report that I'm hanging out with Charles Ideho. Charles, uh, happy Friday to you. Thank you. Glad to be here. And uh, there's also Bola Olajuwon. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You don't do. Don't okay, do. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> okay, the team is ready. I hope you are. Okay, then, let's go straight to business. You know, in Africa, election times are generally crunch times. But in our country, they are de the, the defining lines between sanity and madness. By other state governorship polls are not only until another three weeks on November 16. The two front running parties there, the ABC and the ruling PDP, are raising the atmosphere's temperature to dementing levels. Whereas the ruling PDP in the state insists that the APC was planning to sponsor violence before and during the polls. The opposition APC is creating an atmosphere. It says the PDP is creating an atmosphere of, you know, fear and stage managed violence. But let me tell you this, the English novelist and author of Animal Farm, you remember George Orwell, he put it correctly when he said, political language is designed to make lies sound truthful and murder Respectable, Charles. <laughs> well, um, end quote. Yeah, end quote. <laughs> well, first of all, I, I think uh, what's happening by SR, um, it's, it's not something new. We're used to, we're used to all these break back from parties, particularly when it's very close to election. Uh, each of them want to see how they can size each other up uh, to see which of them is prepared, whether the party in power has the might to, to retain power, Having spent eight years in, 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 that, in, that, in that state, you also have uh, APC that is uh, trying to make an inroad into, into uh, the, 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 the government house in Mbaesa. But whichever way you look at it, you must, uh, we must uh, look, uh, we must tell the politician that uh, at the center of all, whoever is going to, going to win, the beneficiaries must be the people of Mbaesa state. That we cannot continue to look at politicians Throw, I mean, throw, throw in some of this violence in the system, you know, creating fear that we even prevent people from coming to vote because the we, we change or the baton has to happen at the ballot. But when you begin to create an atmosphere of, of violence, even before the elections, then people will begin to uh, begin to 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 to, 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 uh, to raise that fear whether the election indeed will be free and fair. And if people begin to have that fear, how can they? Uh, have that, that security over their life to announce, okay, they want to go queue up to vote for whoever they want to vote for, either party A or party B. So I think uh, the either P PDP, APC, or the other parties that are there, they must look for a way to find a way. Ibayesa can even indeed set an example of how parties, of how parties should be, should, be, should be played. One, how voting can even take place without even rancor. So I think uh, where we are now, we need to be putting behind us the policies of the, of, of the past, where, where you have to fight before. Look at what happened that time, even the first time that uh, uh, Sarah Kedisin came in. Having problems with Mr. Bama, having problems with Satan John. Remember, they, they, they even canceled the election for, for, for I mean, part, of, part of that state. So we cannot afford that anymore. We are, I'm using this platform to tell the politicians in Bayesa to please play the rule by the game so that people can even indeed go over their queue up and then vote the candidate of their choice. Bola, Bola, but you are familiar with these things. Um, politicians in our climb have learned nothing, have forgotten nothing. You see, it's quite unfortunate the way politicians see politics in this country of ours. 
or in this part of the world. And naturally, I believe, or how do I say it? I used to have the thinking that politicians, you know, would take it higher from where, you know, the former chairman yeah. of uh, Heineck, uh, Atero mm -hmm. Jega, left it. Left it. Mm -hmm. But they've refused to learn from that angle. What is it? The best thing that I think they should do is to come out. Sell your program to the people. If the people like your program and they believe in you, maybe from the antecedents of PDP so far in the States. But, 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 but you know, sorry, but my trouble here is, let, let's look at the INEC chairman as a football referee. He's the man at the center. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. he is, his job is simply to officiate mm -hmm. A game, that's it. Yeah. I'm saying by the rule too. So and, and yeah, he has mm, the rules. Remove the VAR. Yeah. You know, um, it, when crunch time comes, the INEC comes in. But yeah. the game, every game, including mm. politics, mm. has rules. Right. Yes, yes. But politicians have refused to play by the rules. So what? What's the business? Uh, what, what does the INEC man do here? Let me tell you. There's little that the INEC person can do, other than you know to go along with the guideline of the lecture. To tell them to play by the rule, to, you know, to open the field for them to play. But let me tell you, in this part, you know, of the world, let the best man come and organize any election whatsoever. Politicians want to do everything to bend the rule. What matters most to them is to use everything, you know, win to win. Cost. Now, let's look at it from this perspective. Even where there's nothing, people want to come out to say that, oh, you know, this person want to kill me, this person, you know, want, want to rig the election. And let me tell you, let's be realistic with ourselves. I don't want to mention party, whether party A or party B. Let me tell you, when they are saying that this one want to rig election, this one want to commit violence, what about you? Are you not tainted? Most of them are tainted as well. Because if they want to do, they come out, hey, you want to kill me, you want to do this, you want to do that. What about you? Are you not doing it on the net? Whether in the light or in the darkness? Are okay. you as well not doing it? That is the issue at hand. Uh, just just, just yes, a minute, yeah, without mm -hmm. prejudice yeah, to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. This has just come to me. Yeah, okay. Senator Duoye Diri, Duoye Diri. Mm -hmm. PDP candidate, mm -hmm. had on Tuesday mm -hmm. raised alarm when he met officials from the UK and mm -hmm. US. Yes. Yeah, that's right. My question, mm -hmm. aren't we an independent country? We are. Okay, we are, but uh, the UK and the others, they, they are coming in as observers. Okay, so when they come in, they will first of all look at who uh, the players are in, in the system. So it is during it was during this one of the meetings that the man voiced out all these concerns and all. So that. so the officials would, the foreign officials would do what? Uh, well, it's part of look. No, what I has told you, it is part of, of how they play politics here. No, uh, in most cases they want to they want to be the one that will shout the loudest. Okay. Now, but you see, the, all this problem we are having to. I began to to exercise fear when the governor of the state, the still governor of the state. Um, uh, uh, Dixon, yeah, Jesarek Dixon. Dixon, even first of all, through the first salvo, when he said that he, of course, he has seen INEC as not going to be a Fair. true referee in, 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 this, in this game. Mm. I mean, we're not even cast the, the first ballot. He was a, a governor who has been there for eight years. He had two elections. He has, he has passed, passed through, what am I saying, two elections? What about the one that took him to the National Assembly? So mm. he's, he's used to that. I expect him as a governor. As the father of the state, he calls himself the uh, countryman uh, uh, governor. I expect what he also have done is that it's to, it's to sue for peace rather than even being the ones who is not even fired in the first time. So when, when he mentioned that, I began to express that it's what going to lead to a lot of things. To, and this, all these things you are seeing, and they are all uh, fall back of, all, of, of, the, of what the governor said initially. So it's, it's not necessary what, wait for a governor to, to have come out to say well, things like that. Quickly, Charles, the build up had been very interesting, intriguing. Intriguing, yes. Uh, split in the APC leadership, and as well uh, as the PDP. yeah, PDP. and so on. So, are you say is it possible that a sitting governor, uh, who like a godfather overseeing the field, is afraid of uh, tomorrow? Well, he, he, he ha because, he ha because you know why. But yeah, if, they because has, mine, <laughs> why I'm asking is, if you are sure, you 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 don't uh, entertain any. You know, yet. you know. Uh, I think uh, some sometimes sometimes you know, about two months back we discussed about either two months I can call we discussed about Baesa. You see, the governor has every cause to be afraid, afraid loosely used. Mm. Why I say so is that there being a lot of defection from his party to the APC. 
you know, before now, PDP has, a Bison State has been like, like a one party state. Like mm. a PDP state where okay. once you emerge the candidate of, it's, of bye it's, bye. It's, 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 it's done, it's a done deal. But since the beginning of the uh, uh, people like uh, uh, Silver, Trimit mm. Pires Silver, yeah. with, a war, with war chest, you know, when they began mm -hmm. to play in the system, then there was fear, okay? And then even even the emergence of um, of uh, Diri, you know, there was also Timi Alaybe along yeah. the line. Yeah, that's so it. I, the fear now is that there are some of them who are also playing into the, you know, just they're, they're, they're cutting corners, going over the other side. Also, don't forget that even even the wife of the of the S, S uh, president, when the part, you know, his his, his uh, he, her husband is of the PDP, okay, an elder, so to speak. But recently, she attended a rally of the APC. So all these things are joining together to even create fear in the minds of the PDP. Is is that okay, the Bola? Don't you see that <laughs> as a fallout of the seeming bad blood between a sitting governor and? an outgoing president, a son of the soil. Yes. Yeah, it's an extension of that. Even inside the PDP, there's a problem. Okay, look at it now. Some people are aggrieved that from the same zone, senatorial zone, yes. you have the speaker. You also have the, the you governorship, know, uh, uh, the governorship uh, candidate. Uh, then what do you for take the same local, go local government. Uh, the same local yes. government. Then how do you take that? Huh? There's no respect for party supremacy, understanding, and how do I put it? You know, arrangement or agreement as per who to contest the zone that you can contest from. That mm. means now, even in the local government, uh, the senator can come out, the party chairman can come out, the governorship candidate can come out, the speaker can come out. Then what do you take out of it? My own take is this. I think at this level, the PDP should try as much as possible to look inside, uh, to look inside, Look inside very well and settle the matter instead of you know coming out to rubbish the PDP well, uh, as Bola, well as rubbish the APC. Quickly, quickly add it to it that they were even telling the speaker to even step down for to 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 give the to give him for for the uh, the, the, the the candidate. I mean, the, and the speaker also has followers. Yes. So all this they are all joining together to mm -hmm. now create a, a, a kind of a, a kind of a combustion within within the system. So, which is why we are, were asking whether the governor has any cause to be uh, to be afraid. Of course. Yeah. This are, we can look at this are pointers to the fact that all may not be well in, in, in that state. And if governor, if the, if the I'm not saying PDP loses, in the event that PDP loses, then he loses his ground. Because every governor that is living will always want, want to make sure that he, he remains in, in firm control of the state. So if, yeah. but if that party loses, then where it, it becomes a political warfare. So no governor wants to ever see that. That is why they even, you remember a kitty state. Yeah. We, you, 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 didn't, you didn't even know whether it was fire or shit that was, that was contested for 10 10. What about, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, Shoe State that you also had the Adegba Shola everywhere completely? So, even uh, uh, my own state, Edo State, when B B Basket was coming in, Oshomone was the one who was seen everywhere. So, they, it is their game they want to remain so that they want to put somebody there, they, they can also be there. So, in, they remain in control of that state. So, in, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Seraki DC has every cause to be afraid. Because if, if, he lose, if PDP loses, then, of course, he will, he will lose all his ground. But, Bola, but, Bola in, in, in taking this home, this is not saying the APC can take advantage. Basically, the APC can take advantage of the situation at hand. It, it is not, is it saying so or it is not? APC is even ready to take advantage of the situation. If it can. If it can. And it will take advantage from oh, are you, Is that a prophecy or what? <laughs> yes, that's what I can oh, say. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> as is to provoke the debate yes. and allow you to make up your minds, um, we must move on. But you know, almost everything in our country is tainted, whether good for you know good or bad. After a federal high court in Abuja orders the Inspector General Mohamed Adamu to stay action on the ongoing recruitment of 10,000 new policemen or recruits, Aman has gone ahead to release a list. The Police Service Commission had gone to court to stop the police chief from, from annexing its primary function. Now that we are at this pass, who might we cry to? <laughs> Whom I to cry to? And then the court that I was supposed to cry to is being rubbished. The judiciary is being rubbished, as we speak. And the judiciary is supposed to be the, the, the final arbiter in whatever dispute you have, maybe between the legislature and then the executive. But in this case now, the arbiter is being rubbished, is being, is being beaten to stupor. So who are we going to cry to? But I think uh, the, the IG, IG should just uh, find a way to respect his office and respect himself. Why I'm saying so is that I looked through the, uh, 
the the law setting up the PS the PSC, and even when you when you visit the website of uh, of the Police Safety Commission, I mean the primary responsibility for uh, recruitment of, of men and then the the promotion is on under the purview of of that of that uh, of that, that, that commission. Yes. Even if, if at, as at, as at uh, about uh, early early uh, early this month, they, they released the name of names of about six DIG that they have promoted. Who does that? It is the PSC that is in charge of promotion. Mm. So if you are in charge of promotion, how can you recruit? And one body recruit, the other one, one, one will promote. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. So I think the IG should, I mean, it should respect the, 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 the laws of the land by obeying the court order. I was told by a lawyer that even if the magistrate court, not the be customary court, may be in, in the back street, once he makes pronouncement, you are bound to obey that, irrespective of the status of that court. So if we want to build this, this, this polity, we want to build a democracy to ensure that it stands the, the, the test of time, everyone, no matter how highly placed, you must respect that law or the pronouncement from any court, as I said, irrespective of the status. So the IG, honestly, has not done well, by my estimation, by going against the ruling of that court. I, because it is the court that is supposed to even, 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 even look at how they can even totally and appropriately uh, to, to do uh, the, what they call the look, look at the case before them to see whether the IG head or the PSC head. But as I said, the IG has every cause to obey the provision of the court so that we can indeed deepen the rules of our democracy and then we can all be at par with other uh, uh, democracies of the world. Um, Bola, at this point, Fela's song, <laughs> partial, you, you know. Uh, when people wield too much powers in a country, you, you are wondering who next? <laughs> you know, what next? If not who, what next uh, at this it, stage? Yes. Uh, you see, um, it's quite unfortunate that uh, in the first instance, um, the Police Service Commission went to court. But okay, what is the, uh, the place of the presidency and the overseeing minister? Hmm? Of police in the first instance. What role? He, he's not a member of the PSC, or is he? Um, um, no, no, it's not, but there's a chairman. The PSC has a yeah. chairman. But, but it, it they, has a chairman. They have a supervisory role over uh, yes. there. Yes. The, the chairman is also a retired IG. Yes, uh, yes, yes. But, but, the, the, but the, minister, the ministry has a super, or the minister has a supervisory role. Mm. For, so even, even the president himself just said recently that they should work together. That's yes. for the presidency. Yes, and they should work together. Yeah, no. Well, administrative, yeah, well. You see, for, that is for administrative purpose. But now, you see, I think that the IG should see it from another perspective that, look, is it a matter of power show or disrespect to constitutional authority? You understand me? Because what we are seeing here being played out is quite unfortunate, and it shows it's a signpost to another, another level. It is, how do I say it? It is a kind of telling other agencies that you two can do it. Yes. Because, like, I see the police that, that, as... That's if, if bad behavior is not punished. Yes, it's that's not right. punished. But the way we are now. That is, the, 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 the Adamu, the hygiene is telling them that you two can misbehave. Look, if an overseeing commission can tell you not to do this, and you are, going, going, ahead. You are going ahead to do it, and then a court intervene telling you not to do it, what are you saying? You are telling the world that, look, well, nothing like law and order. If there is even law, the law is me. I am the so, law. So, I can you, do anything. You, sometimes you wonder if these stories are true. It's oh, true. true, but uh, and that is what we are saying. <laughs> you were not wondering no, exactly yes. because it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. You see, because for, like uh, the, 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 it is cleared that look, this is this uh, police service commission must recruit, then must maintain discipline. Though the service commission cannot remove an IG, mm -hmm. it's only the presidency and can, the can senate. Make a recommendation. And they can make a exactly. recommendation. That's it. But to me, I think it shouldn't have even reached the level that it is that Nigeria are now seeing that there is a kind of power play between the Police Service Commission and Adam. It shouldn't. But, but, but like, I, think, I think the presidency had the presidency, not president. Let me look at the institution. No, that's, why, that's why I, I said presidency. presidency. I didn't but if, the, use president. If, if the president had, had put his foot down to say that the, uh, the laws must be, in fact, 
when you look at the all the the functions of the PS, say respect it rather than say both of you go work together. Mm -hmm. I mean that 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 was like emboldening the IG yeah, to yeah, not take the losses. Take it, it to then if I like, you know, I because, may not. Honestly, I may not respect. I mean, I may not I may respect, not respect it. exactly. So if the president has said no, you must leave this role to so this body. Upon we upon whose shoulder had this 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 uh, function has been placed, I'm not sure the IG would have would have gone gone the way he has gone. Now. <laughs> but it's like uh, it's like uh, what what they say like uh, treating the matter with uh, uh, So if he had mm -hmm. if they have put uh, if the president had put his foot down to say IG, you must respect that body upon whose shoulder I'm, I'm sure the IG would have would have gone this far. Honestly, then, then it's also telling us one thing: if you have control over somebody or an institution and you don't have control to punish that institution yeah, and make sure that mm -hmm. that institution carry out your order. Yeah. That is that's you know, what we are going well, to let, let, Still going with that thread, yes. we talk about increasingly, we talk increasingly about a police, a Nigeria police that's not gaining the confidence of the police okay. public. Yes. And these problems, most of these problems will start from recruitment ground. Sure. So recruitment is key here. Yes. You expect the PSC and the IG to work, to work together. in tandem. Mm -hmm. yes. Look, screen this list and because this is where vested interest will come. Many mm. people will have their candidates. Mm. And at this point, Bola and Charles, many of these would-be recruits are doing so because there are no jobs. Yes. Not because, Not because they, they are ready to do the job exactly. or they love or they have exactly. passion for that's it. That's my problem. The avail yes. available becomes a desirable. Yes. That's, yes. What, that's exactly and, and, what it is. Let now. me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story that happened in my office. Okay. Um, um, our police correspondent told us a story about two people who came to her. Ah, please, can you assist us with recruitment? Mm -hmm. He said, what? And you want me to assist you people? At the end of the day, you go and join, you know, mm -hmm. gangs, eh, thieves, eh, to do what you shouldn't do because somebody assisted you. Mm -hmm. Secondly, and that is, you know, how many soldiers go to war. And when it comes to the issue of facing Boko Haram, they run away. And they drop their weapon. Yeah. And they mingle with the public. That is what is obtainable in this country. The people that we are recruiting is not because they love the job they are doing oh, yeah. or they have passion for it. Most of them they go there because they want to get something. Yeah. Because of the salary, because of lack of job. But now, if there is a system put in place to fight the recruitment, promotion, we must respect it. And if we are not respecting it, we are saying posting something. Yeah. And that's the person is bad for the country. Let me quickly add to it that what yeah. Bola said. Uh, uh, me, at the heart of this is when the PSC is saying that most of the names that found their way into the list were not there originally. You see? So how did they, how did they, how we, did those names find them? We are saying the same thing. Yeah, we're so, the same and, thing. and just to quickly add to, uh, when, when, when we were but second you are not surprised, there, are you? Well, I'm not surprised because uh, it happens uh, almost every time. But it shouldn't it, be. It whether, shouldn't in, be. whether in the banking mm -hmm. sector, whether so in the shippers bank, all of that. Uh, Look, it shouldn't be. But when I was in secondary school, there was, there was a young boy who was um, my junior in secondary school those days, Fafa Junior. We all knew him to be a criminal because in those days, you all knew him to, be to be criminal, to be criminal. criminal. Has it changed? That's that's where I'm going. You know, in those days, when we were growing up in school, you, you, if you if you were popular, you either polish, whether you are very clever, the principal will know your name, or you were, or you were into athlete. sports, uh -huh. or you were a criminal. So either of the three, but the boy, the boy belonged to the third. So he was all he was known as a criminal. Only for after we had left school a long time, I remember, I now rec somebody now told me that 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 guy is not in the police. He even has two ropes and he has built about. Two houses and no, no, no. So, two stripes. Uh, two, okay, no, we call it no, roads. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, let me ask him. Let me ask. No, no, so, but let me finish. So, what I'm saying is that that same boy that we all knew to be criminal in school, that never went through any rehabilitation, never went through any training uh, for him to to have a way to. I mean, for 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 proper behavior, he found his way into the police force. Police force is supposed to police us against criminals. Mm. A criminal now found himself in the police. Gave him uh, 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 a uniform and gave him gun to use legitimately. What do you expect of that? So, which is what the PSC wants to correct by saying, okay, let's do proper profiling. If you were, uh, yeah. if you were, uh, if you are going to apply, you 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 go through the application and then there are certain processes uh, that you must follow. But the IG, what they are saying now, now those lists, the list that of this of this uh, new new recruit. There are so many names the PSC said were not there originally. How did they find their way? How did they find their way into, into, into that list? Um, Bola will recall that um, former President Olusha Gwabasonjo said it uh, verbatim. We, we heard him. Many people 
who are in the police force are criminals. I see. For sure. Uh, so. Yes, I wanted to ask him. <laughs> so that if, guy, it, if, if it came from the number one citizen. Oh, and yes. you know. You see, I wanted to ask him when he said the guy was the criminal in school. Where no, not he guy, was, I, I knew. Wait, 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 wait. Let me talk. <laughs> let me talk. Whether he was street smarts. Or, or a criminal who said he did. Okay, okay. okay. No, 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 no. You, are, you, you it see. seems you, you know much more about this. You see, I can tell Somebody you. Somebody was okay. I, uh, no, no, when he, you he boggle, knows. He, no, when you, when you when you in locker and then you take provision, is that is that street smart? No, no, who knows? Is that <laughs> not dormitory smart? <laughs> yes, yeah. dormitory smart or school smart. <laughs> Yeah, it, no, no, gentlemen, we are, we are dealing no, with... Yeah, serious matter. It's a serious matter. matter. We are dealing with a very delicate yeah, matter. Yes, delicate. It's not even delicate. We, it's dangerous it's serious, for yeah. our national, you know, our mm. body politics. Not only that, for implementation enforcement of law. Because, like, let, let's take it home. Uh, the, the chairman of Police Service Commission was a retired, and is still a retired... Mm. Police, police chief. Police, police chief. General. And I want to tell you, when he was there at the Hems of Affair, let's look in again. What was the position of Adamu in the first instance? No, no, no. Does no. it really matter? It matters. It matters. It matters. It doesn't really matter here. You're going to agree to call now. No, no. no. Uh, no, no there, there's no. what they call a spirit of call. Yes. You know, it's, mm. it's, it's something you plead. Yes. At especially mm. when it matters. But it's not a right. It's not a right. It's not a right. It's it's not right. No, no, no. I'm saying it is not about who was this man years ago. Years ago. Now, the man. And now, and if No, the man in question is the. Is is the current IG? IG, yes. No, it's the same thing as saying who, no, no, who was no, no. Uh, uh, Buhari when when uh, Basanjo was uh, oh, yes. uh, general. It's the yes, same yes. thing. Yes, but now let's look at it like this. You understand me? You see, for Obasanjo to say that the man at the time before he even said that he had security report in respect of the activities of you know the police force and the police personnel, mm. he had security report. Not only that he must have been dealing with them, because we had of a situation, a scenario whereby he was leaving his farm in Ota, and he was driving himself. They stopped him and they queried him. They told Abba said, yes, who are you? He said, you don't know me. He said, who are you? Uh, tell me who you are. And then he heard that people to say, okay, if you don't know me, I'm so, 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 bundle this man into, into my vest. And that was what they did. Mm. For somebody to see Abba Sanyo and tell Abba Sanyo that. Who are you? Who are you? That you didn't know him? And but, but, coupled but, with the but, fact but, but, that don't, he has... Don't, 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 but like, don't, you, don't, you recall, don't you think the policeman never knew him? Well, is it likely? You, you do? Hmm. It is not unlikely. You see, you see, let me tell you. No, no, no. Like, one day, they were taking me home. And then can, they can used... You, can you, at that point, hmm. afford to dare... A president, a sitting president. One shouldn't, one shouldn't, one that's shouldn't. It. That's it, one shouldn't. That, 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 but that. So, so what we are saying from this uh, hangout is PSC and the police force, the police high command, policing is very, very critical to internal peace and security. Please sink your differences in the interest of the larger country. We beg you, we beg you. Okay, still to come, customs intercepts 1,482 bags of foreign rice, eight cars in Niger and Kwara states, even as uh, Barista Femi Falano urges federal government to end border closure in national interest. We'll return shortly. Okay, let's go. You know, when in August the president closed Nigeria's land borders to stem smuggling and related uh, cross-border felonies, the backlash we knew was going to be profuse and irregular. Today we are there. Quite expectedly, men of the customs have intercepted over 1,000 bags of imported rice and luxury cars in Mina, the Niger state capital. Meanwhile, human rights lawyer and senior advocate Femi Falano has urged the federal authorities to reopen the short borders in the national in interest. I thought they were so short in the national interest. <laughs> well, uh, sometimes uh, we, you understand we, my jargon? Yes, we, with yeah. due respect to Vice um, Omid, Femi Falano's son and other... Yeah, uh, S-A-N. S-A-N. Okay, son, S-A-N. Okay, S-A-N. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, other lawyers who sometimes they, they query all policies, all virtual policies. I think it would be better for them to uh, take courses in, in economy. 
because what I'm saying to the economists is that there are certain actions of government that are done for national interest. But when they look at it, because of their back, coming from the background as uh, activists, they fail to see the benefits that we are, will be accruable to, to, the, the, our, for, for, to, to us all. What I'm saying so is that we need to look at between national interest or increasing the production capacity of Nigeria and Nigerians, which one should we choose? I will choose the latter. Because before now, I think around 2013, 2014, 2015, the, our production capacity was less than five metric tons of rice in Nigeria. But as, as, as at 2015, 2016, we were doing about 5.8 metric tons. As we speak now, I don't have the current figure. I'm sure it should be up to 10 or so. Yeah. Because it's just, we're gradually moving to that level where we are beginning to give power to us as Nigerians. People are beginning to look towards the land. And then the rice that we were importing before, we're beginning to also now eat Nigeria, grow Nigeria, eat Nigeria, which of course is taking economic power from a few to all of us. Which one should I choose? I will choose that. Now, when you look at the ECOWAS protocol that you're talking about, mm. ECOWAS protocol is not supposed to operate in the vacuum or to the disadvantage of Nigeria. Mm. It's supposed to be to the advantage it, it, of, it, all, of all it, of us. If the protocol does not say in any of its... Or, or, of its statutes yes. that you must rob Peter to, to people. people. Good. It so doesn't say so. The ECOWAS protocol has talked about free movement of, of human and goods and all that. But you must respect the fact that when you are beginning to do certain things that is, uh, that's, that's now, that's now if affecting the economy of the other, then we must put a check to it. Yeah. Because Kotonou has said about, I mean, not Kotonou, uh, Republic of Benin, I understand the population about 12 million. But that country is the second largest importer of rice in the whole world. For, for, it, for 12 million, 12 million uh, inhabitants. Mm -hmm. And about 78% of whatever is supported into, 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 into that country comes into Nigeria. And what do we get as a, as, as a government? We get nothing. What do we, what, what do we benefit? And to, to the extent that we're even importing coconut from, from the Republic of Benin. Does mm -hmm. it make any sense? Mm -hmm. if I tell you, when you get to all these markets, the, the pineapple that you, you buy, they are, from, they are from Ghana or the Republic of Benin. When, when we have in a dose, you have, you have a, 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 a pineapple plantation, they are rotting away. So Bola, I expect. Bola, don't be grudging, man. I I, I, that, that's his state. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I expect I us. Now, do, do you imagine that even recently, even jocularly, jocularly that they, they said rice produced in Nigeria now is about 14,500 naira. Okay? But when you bag it, when you now put it in a foreign bag, it costs 25,000. Mm. It means that we are spending, we are paying 10,500 naira for a foreign bag. Does it make any sense? See. Add but to I'm it, taking from it. Add, it, add to it that look, even the local rice is being the bank. That's what I'm saying. And being sold in Nigeria now as foreign. That's what I'm telling you. That means if the quality is not up to foreign one, so why would people be doing that? Why would people be rebagging it to make more money on it? Now, let me take it home from there. Do you know what Republic of Benedict to Nigeria yeah, recently? Leave, leave it here. Let's discuss uh, it. This is his home. Yeah, home. No. Okay, this is my home now. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you go see, on, you on. see, Republic of Benin ordered that if you are exporting or importing in or out of Nigeria, you should go to Seme. They now close Idi Roko border town. They close Idi Roko border town that nothing should be exported from Nigeria into the Republic of Benin from Idi Roko border town and other areas in the southwest. Now, the controller in Idi Roko took the matter to Comptroller General. That one took the matter to the presidency. Presidency, first of all, discussed with Waluka Bene. Nothing. The Comptroller General took it again to Foreign Affairs Ministry. Foreign Affairs Ministry took it over. Nothing happened. That is that of the public of Benin. All, all right. So, so the, the mm -hmm. long and short mm -hmm. of it is... Is that they Nigeria, started. Nigeria. Everything must be dealt with. We must deal with the situation yeah. together, holistically. To the favor of Nigeria, not to the favor of the Republic of Benin and Only. other country. Exactly. Yeah. In the case of Ghana, look at what yeah. is obtainable in Ghana. Mm. That means there are some businesses that Nigerians cannot do. You cannot do. Now, if you do it, they will arrest you immediately. Now, I, I hear, I hear, rightly or wrongly, mm -hmm. that um, a certain bitters uh, type, you know, product, yeah, a certain um, brand, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, as well as about popular. twenty million. Uh, yes. lost, lost about the man has lost about two million oh, two, dollars. Yeah, exactly. Now, let me now tell you, for that brand alone. We have over 40 brands here.
Yeah, yeah I, got, I don't take it too, but I. You sniff it, sniff it. No, no, I, 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 I normally see them on the road. Then you know, I, I know, I know you are playing safe. No, I'm not playing safe. No, you no, know me very well. I'm a Muslim. I, me, I don't know. You know please, that I'm a Muslim and please, allergic. Please, I'm and a allergic. Christian. Uh, I, I know uh, that you, you are also good for you. Yes. No, don't Can bring me in. Don't, don't bring me in. Don't bring me in. This is, listen, this is, gentlemen, <laughs> President Buhari never shot Bene Bodas, yes. Niger, mm -hmm. Chad, mm -hmm. or, or Cameroon, if yes, you will. Yes. The shot president our shot border. our borders. Yes. So why must, must it bother anybody? Anybody in okay. the, the sub-region or anybody for that matter? Good, but uh, I agree. Should, but yeah. if Bene plays ball, good. Yes. Then we have to go play ball. If Ghana plays ball, ball, exactly. The borders will be them. shot. Because yeah. if, if you go to the Cotonou border, I have seen Cotonou border. I have even gone to Lome border, uh, no border. Uh, Cotonou uh, port, Porto Novo. Uh, Porto no, no, Porto Novo. The one in 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 Cotonou. Okay. Cotonou. I've been I've been there. I've been to the one in Lome. The activities in those ports are even more than the activities in even Tinkan, and most of those goods. It, when you get in, they declare them. Most of them found their way to all these illegal routes, and oh, yeah. those things found their way to Nigeria. Yeah. We are losing their gaining. So, what, for me, there's no law that says even even during Christmas. I'm not. I'm not. I'm sure people who are watching, most of them do not like it. I'm not, there's no law that says during Christmas we cannot we cannot eat amala. So I know rice has become mm -hmm. a staple a staple food on our table. But again, it, you see, if if it will, if it will, if it will go bad for us to get good, I personally will support the government to ensure that. The closure of border remains for a while so that we can give economic power to people That's who it. will go back to farm and then increase our production capacity. The That's country it. will be better for it. Um, and uh, please hear this. I hear ships are being diverted to Calabar, which is a plus for us. A plus for us. Uh, on there and all of them. Those, those, those ships used to berth uh, in the Republic of Benin. Yeah. Clear the goods. Now and then the go ships, back. The ships are constrained to come here, pay duties. Yes. Which is proper. Uh, proper. So who, who pay who, pay pay port charges and all that. That's yeah. uh, it's good for us. All right. Uh, 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 we hear Aziz is has joined us from Lagos. Aziz, good evening to you. All right. Good evening, sir. My name is Aziz from Ikola. All right, then. Thank you. We're on. Yeah. Citizen John. Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, good evening to everyone. Good evening to everyone. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so I would like to contribute on the border closure. Yeah. Um, I have so much respect for um, Vice President Fala Nassan, but I was so uh, disturbed when I heard the news that the federal government should drop the uh, border closure policy that we should allow anything to come in. But I don't mm -hmm. think that is right. You know, uh, like I heard, and what I read, the Republic has about 19 million population and 75% of what comes into the Benin Republic is coming to Nigeria, which means when it goes to Benin Republic, the government, their government gets something, they get their deal, but nothing coming to Nigeria government is to lose benefits. Yeah. So I think okay. the border closure policy should hold. Mm. Let's eat what we grow in Nigeria, whatever that Nigeria produces, let's have it. It's not, it's not easy for every one of us to be sincere, it's true. We are all feeling me, but let's feel the pain now and, and gain it later. Okay. It's going to pay off at the that, long that, run. Thank that, you very that, much. Thank you. Um, I agree with you. If it well, go back to get better, I, it, I'm up for Bola, it. Bola, you know, I get so miffed and uh, sometimes disinterested when somebody tells me, you know, uh, tells me about the strikes made by Rwanda. Say Rwanda oh, is better, blah, blah, blah. Ghana is great. Is it? The Rwandans are making Rwanda great, but yes. none of them will tell you, Bola and Charles, that the president of R Rwanda, Rwanda is, is a, a dictator. dictator. Yes, oh, he has stepped, stepped on toes. toes. Lives Just, have been lost. Oh yes, yeah. you know, so, See, see what is on uh, with Tanzania. Uh, no, no, hmm. but but I'm not saying that mm -hmm. toes must be stepped on, Before in, you can in, make, in, uh, in, you including so ones. Yeah. Yeah. But we must pay a price mm -hmm. if yes. we want to be self-sufficient. The yes. Naira cannot live where it is because yes. we are not producing goods. Yes, yes. We are not selling. We're not earning. Yes. We are not earning. Yes. My, my my own take is that you see what I expected of the SEF is that look Nigeria should discuss with the other leaders in the sub region so that they come together. Then the sore point they can deal with, you know, the areas, tackle it to the benefit of all. Not necessarily we open our border. No, no, no. That should be. see. I'm from border area. 
I grew up in the border area. I went to school there. You know, I know what is obtainable in those areas. Let me tell you, the public of Bene, we always collect every cobble on everything imported. But they will close their eyes like this. By the time these smugglers... They find their way into those... Way. Yeah. So, so now, if you can do that for your own interest, what about the interests of the other country? Bola, what you, must your ask, you, you must wonder what, what uh, section of the country is miffed by this closure. It it's must we. primarily, it's we. no, no, it is smugglers and their cousins. Yes. So you, it's only natural. Yes. Now somebody is wondering if Nigerian rice can't be controlled. We don't need, we've gone past the stage. We've gone past the stage of controlling prices. You control, I mean, no, the market. You, you market people talk the, about forces. Market yeah, forces. If they, if they, they, now, this, where we are going is that, I mean, this, this is just economic, economic, economics 101. By the time we begin to produce rice here in abundance, the price, because the supply will be, we have supply glut, the prices will fall down. Uh, if nobody asks you for rice, you will say, what they call banjo, banjo, banjo in Yoruba land, that at, at a let, let, price. Let, 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 me, let me drop this. I hope it makes sense. Uh, Bola and Charles, you go to parties sometimes, and people will talk about uh, what's this rice? This Ofada rice. Ofada, yeah, exactly. As if it is something exactly. outside from, and that is from what the moon. That's what at the same party know. where this imported rice <laughs> is. is but people have preference for Ofada rice. rice. So what was so, the result? Something is wrong here. Something, something is wrong. Not only yeah. something is wrong. What we should do is this. You see, people have been able to create something unusual and magnificent in respect of Ofada. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should take that one in respect of the All right, before, before we bury it, finally, yeah. let's talk to... Barista Femi Falano, uh, we are not in any way decrying what he's doing. No, no, no. The human rights community, community in Nigeria owes us so much. But yeah. I'm saying for once, if we are shutting our borders in the national interest, we must not open those borders in other people's interest. But I, I, I even see this closure as even national interest more than any other interest. Oh, but now the thing where they talk. For me, that's it. Okay, we must pass over. You know, another presumed rehabilitation center has pounded our sense of national identity, this time in Elon in the Quara State Capital. You know, the police acting on classified information invaded the Sumra, Sumran, I hope, Sumran Munin Arabic Center in the city on Thursday, where 108 persons being detained um, against their will. In all, 103 males and five females, some with various forms of infections, are holed up in the hellhole whose owners, Abdul Rahim Owodutu declare, and his sons, declare were there for the teaching of Islamic and Arabic studies and some others for healing. Parents were informed pay fees in excess of 100,000 naira for keeping these hapless folks there. Bala, you are the only Muslim here, confessed, or, you know, professed. So the teaching of Arabic and Islamic studies must not hurt anybody. I agree with you. Yeah. You see, I said it on this program, and I will say it again. What we are seeing now is very un-Islamic. Prophet Muhammad and other prophets of God never profess that you should suffer people because you want to impart knowledge into them. Not only that, look at those people. Are they hygienically looking fine? Not only that, please, look at the state that the police found them. You see, we always say one thing in Islam. Cleanliness is next to godliness. We, when you we, people we, look we, to... We, we say it too. I, I just yes. a universal you say. See, you see, when religions. people look so unkept and you are looking good, your children are looking good, and these people, because of the fact that you are saying that you want to impart knowledge to them, they must suffer, they must be changed, they but, must but, be but, do, but dehumanized. Hear, um, Bola, we hear some of them mentally deranged and so on. So, and there's uh, the stubborn and, children. Okay. It also, also uh, so, add, so, add, add now, that to it. Hmm. must you take a, men, a mentally challenged person to a home like that? That shouldn't be. Even, even, you see, let me tell you, it, it's not that... Um, my mater, my maternal grandfather healed sick people as well. You will never see him doing that. 
keeping them in unkept place. They looking so unkept to the extent that they have infection all over them. All right, hold all right, it. It's never Ch done. Ch it's Charles, never done. Should we look beyond what we're saying? Well, it, 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 or is this a facade? No, I think no. It's, it's not. I, I don't see it as a facade. Because if you look at the man in charge, the, he's an oct 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 octogenarian. Yeah. Uh, who in his eighties? His eighties. Who says he's been doing this since in the seventies? He said that um, rehabilitation center it wasn't a rehab originally. Had been. He has said he had been operating that place since in the seventies. So um, the the years that he has operated in, I, uh, they are more than the year of Boko Haram all there. So mm. that's why I don't want to see it as a facade or as a okay. small screen. Okay. But um, when you look at the operations of this, first, um, not quite long, you discuss, you, some, you found one in Rigasa, in the uh, Igabi local government, in uh, yeah. Kaduna. Kaduna State, there yeah. was another one in uh, Zaria yeah. until this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but I think... Also uh, hard to eat. There are so many other ones. Yeah, like so many that. other ones. Exactly. So, but I think uh, I, I'm, I'm using this medium to also challenge these Islamic clerics, the Nurik of this world, to speak the, up. Uh, uh, the one, the, those, the ulamas, all of them to, to, to talk to them, to begin to change the narrative. Because whether you like it or not, this thing is giving Islam a bad name. Because even somebody who is even a native doctor that is of Islamic background and using all this one to, uh, before you know it, they say it's Islam. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, all concerned Muslims in Nigeria must wake up, join hands to make, to ensure that they clean this and system. And non-Muslims. Okay, non-Muslim. Huh? So because non -Muslim. When, when you say that... Because these people are Nigerian. Exactly. And you say, you are, they, first of all, they, before you take your, 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 your child there, you must pay 100000 And then you are required to pay 15000 every, every month, month for, for upkeep. For upkeep. They, yeah. be, they are saying that even the 15000 they never even see any of them. Because when you look at when you look at some of them, they look so so haggard. I, I, I wish you can beating, be shown some footage. Not only that, then the women yeah. amongst them, they also complained of being serially raped yeah. by the sons the of the of the, and, and, and the, and the man himself. So, mm. how do you now, how, where, where do you now now draw a line between Islam that is that is for justice, and you say you are justice and then and peace. Where no, you, no, 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 maybe not. So not, how no, do you a lot less you see, you see, a lot less about no, no. Islam? No, 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 no I mean, no, no, I mean, there are no, there are no, there are no Don't say, don't say, don't say Islam. And don't say that the you know the overseer of that place is a Muslim. No, but that, that, no, he no, says it's an Islamic center. That's what I'm saying. No, that no. he's giving Islam bad name. If Chal he says he's a native doctor, let's please. remove it, Islam. Let, let yeah. the orderly, uh -huh. let, let's be, uh -huh. you know, it's a rehab center. center. Yeah. Who do you rehabilitate there? Let's yeah, yeah, even exactly. start from. Well, that's right. Okay. That's right. So okay. what I'm saying first is that that man, I don't, I don't quarrel with the fact that he has the power to heal, mm -hmm. or whether he knows the herbs. But it should not tie it to a religion. That's that's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm coming uh -huh, from. Uh -huh. That's what I'm coming from. So that it doesn't give, as I said, bad name to that religion. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that the police have it. We thank God for this this um, the collaboration of the of the of the locals because it was through the information they gave to the police that they acted upon. So we all must be very vigilant. We have to be very vigilant if we see any activities around us that we feel are not proper. We should report to the police, and then the police have to now move in uh, uh, straight and then and then see how they can do this. So I think, uh, as I said earlier, uh, you, Bola, and everybody, let's look for how we can deal with this situation. If anybody be, has been arrested, let's make sure oh, that... Oh, all right. Oh, okay. I hear we, we must uh, hear one of the victims. Oh, okay. That's Let, right. Let's watch on. Go ahead. To be honest, but all that... Thankfully to God, I changed because myself, I know that kind of thing, I won't do it again. There is this day we try to escape. Even to now, the angles. We are hanged, the both of us. Unfortunately for me, my leg, a mismoto as big as I am, can't hang me, my leg, we are My leg is not balanced now. The victims clear. That's so, very, so, 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 if, if this is not man's inhumanity to man, to man what, what, what will that? it be? So, to end the two, I can hand over to. But what I'm saying first is that now that they have been arrested, I think the police should prosecute them. Not only that, I will also suggest that when you find such property, such property should be confiscated to serve as a deterrent. Anyone who is found to have done that. No, but you also have to claim and the, and the so-called owners taken to court. That's it. No, the, 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 this is this is this is a slavery, if you like, and it's also it's also dehumanizing. So let them add all this together and, and bring about heavy punishment over over. So because if you don't do that, there's no way it can serve as a deterrent to people who are already doing it. But if people who are already in it who are not be caught, 
If they know that there's a heavy point they come upon them, I'm sure there's going to be uh, uh, self, self, well, self, self uh, realignment and all, all that. Well, like, are we this inhuman? Uh, 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 no, and, no. And it, inhumane. Yes, you see, the issue is this people are exploiting the scenario that they found themselves to enrich themselves eh? and then to be criminally inclined. But one, one thing I think we should, you know, the state governments, the affected state government should do is this. You see, we must be ahead of criminals and crimes. And that is the more reason that lawmakers and the state government should be ahead of the perpetrator of inhuman act that we are seeing that is being unclad before us. See, the issue is that when they give you 100,000, then they give you 15,000 15, monthly. monthly. And nothing is being seen as positive, as positive change around and in those people, individual affected. But thankfully, this is not us. It is not us. It is not us. It is no, not us. not us. It's not us. It's just about few individuals. Just few individuals. Yeah, exactly. It's not us. And they are not Muslims. It's not us. They are not Muslim and they are not Islamic. They are not Christians either. They are not Christians Exactly. They are criminals and they are being used by devils. Let's let's be realistic. Let's separate it. No, 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 no. Don't bring the devil in because we want you want to turn fufu here. So so it's just that many people in this country are devious. They are devious, exactly. And if you don't punish bad behavior, it will continue. Yeah, it will continue. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> All right, our job is done. Uh, we can only hope that what we have thrown at your laps will become useful to you in making up your minds. But let me let me thank um, um, Bola Olajuwon for coming. Thank you. Enjoy your Friday. Ah, we do that. I'll be enjoying it. And morning. send the bill to him. Yes. To <laughs> us. <laughs> to us. <laughs> and uh, we thank uh, ja Charles. Thank you coming. very much. Thank you. So our job is done, but please, the rest is left to you. I hope you share our convictions. That's it on the program. If you missed this particular one, you may watch the program on other forms, platforms, which we'll share with you. Um, and on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. The feedback channel is the same. For now, on behalf of the Backroom Boys here, I am Citizen Jones Usain. Bye bye now.